So in this video we're going to make um, items just spin around so they look like things you can pick up. So right here this key, you know, doesn't really look like an item you can pick up. A lot of the time in games items sparkle or move or something. So we're going to make this spin around. So in scripts, right click, create, C sharp script, call it rotating item. Open that up. And this is going to be quite simple. On update, we're going to do transform.rotate. Hmm. I don't know which one to do. I'm going to do rotate. Give it some angles, I guess. We're going to want to use time because, you know, if one computer does 60 frames a second, another one does 10, we want that to rotate the same speed because update on the the slow computer with 10 frames a second is going to do only 10 a second rotates so we want to rotate more and in a fast computer that has 60 frames we're going to want to rotate less each time and we have to to make it look like it's doing the same speed on a slow computer or a fast computer so I'm just going to try try this out and just rotate by delta time and see what that looks like. Rotating item. Add this to my key. Now we're going to... Ooh, it's not a happy script. Okay, and rotating item, line 13. Float cannot be vector 3. Oh, does this take a vector 3? Oh, that was... Oh, <laughs> okay, I don't know what I was thinking. Um, so rotation here is these 3. So actually, when I put the key down, it was flat. And that's kind of weird. So I, I played around with these. I was like, no, nope, that's not right. Y, how about X90 rotate? No, it's not right. And then I was like, okay, Z, that makes it stand up. That's good. Now we're going to want to rotate either X or Y. So let's say if, if we change X, that's not how we want to rotate. Maybe it is, but it's not how I want to rotate. Y is 10. That's how we want to do it. So we're going to rotate around Y. <clears throat> so now back in the code. Going to be a rotation is going to be a vector 3. So 0 for x, is, we're not worried about that. Um, the y is going to be that time, delta time we talked about. And then z, same thing, no rotation. Oh, we are missing a bracket. Okay, now when I play this, what's going to happen? It is rotating on a weirdo thing. It's also doing it very slow. So let's make it faster first of all to see what's happening. Times five. Hmm, that's funny. I, I really thought I uh, it was it was why we wanted to change, wasn't it? I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna rotate around X. Well, that's right. I'm not really sure. I guess there's a difference between the rotation here and the rotation in code. I just had to uh, play around with it. So we actually want to rotate the X, looks like, in code. I'm not sure why. I did times 50 just so it's faster. Now we've got a spinning key that looks like something you pick up. <laughs> 